Hi, I'm Raven Cranny. I'm a freshman from Millard South. Lights, lights, lights! And this is my poem, Will I Jump? I am stuck in a cage like a canary. No, not a canary, but a crow or a raven, maybe? I beg of you, let me out. Let me out because I want to see the world, but I can't. Even the sweetest songbird can sing a sorrowful tune, but only those who can dream can get out. I can hear a sweet whistling coming from the next room. Could it be another bird just like me, filled with the same hopes and dreams to soar like an eagle or to feel as free as the wind that ruffles the feathers that lay upon my aching back? I flit around in circles to pass the, st the time in this silver cage. The ornate swirls gleam when the sun comes through the window just right. I once thought that it was beautiful. Now it is nothing more than a trick. Could they too have a similar cage with a similar window and a similar loathing for the way that they feel stuck, like the rest of the world just carries on and they are in the same spot? Oh, I yearn to meet the breeze as a friend that I've wished for for years. I can look out that window and wish that I was there and wish that I am as free as that one sparrow that sits perched upon my windowsill. I can imagine vivid conversations with that sparrow. He tells me to exit my trap and to fly with him, but it, is, it has been so long that I don't know if I know how to use my wings anymore. He asks me if I'm okay, and little does he know I cannot answer that question without wanting to cry like a small chick yet again. I would cry until there was nothing left and, wait a minute, my cage, the, the door is open. I rush towards the window and oh sweet victory, it's mine. I can see a balcony as I sit perched in front of the transparent wall that keeps me from the life that I dream of. The glass is a curse on my soul. I wonder if I can open that window. It's the last perhaps able to be turned with the force of a wing or a toe. I keep tapping on the glass as if it'll magically fix that it is shut. I have waited in eternity for this. I can't let this ruin my way out. I see the person that takes care of me on the balcony, she's on the phone with that man again. The man that causes the shouting and the breaking of the glass and the anger and he's not having a good day. Soon she spots me and she smiles. Her tears don't stop but she still smiles at me. She looks away and hangs up the phone after getting in the last word. She ended it, she's free. I can go because she does not need me anymore. When she comes back in, she leaves the window slightly ajar and tells me she's going out. This is my chance. I hop through the opening and onto the platform. We live on the sixth floor, and just looking at the ground from such a height can make someone want to vomit, let alone jump from it. Not me. I want to soar with the clouds like the bird that I am. But for a second, I hesitate. Will I jump? <laughs> All 